Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about how much low frequency absorption that you need. We get asked this a lot. And we've got a lot of data. We've been doing this 14 years with, with the room form. So I think it's over 10,000 rooms. Two channel, mix, live, home theater. All usages we've worked in. So we can give you a pretty good idea of, of the coverage requirements that you're going to need. Now this is only our technology. I can only speak for our stuff. Uh, most of the stuff out there, you could fill your whole room full of it, and you'd still have problems. So we don't subscribe to that kind of uh, nonsense. Modal issues, less than 100 cycles, those are a priority. Those are the axial modes. Got to focus on those. They actually extend beyond 100, but those are the ones that you have to focus on because they're the strongest and the most audible. And they fundamentally impact the harmonics. Okay, so we have to look at that. We look for a design range, 80 to 85 dB SPL. That's the pressure, how loud you play at in the room. And for that, you're going to need 50 to 65% surface area coverage for the low frequencies. So let's look at an example here. 8-foot ceilings, 20-foot width or length. So our units are 60 inches high, which is 5 feet. So you can see that you, you get that 60 65% surface area coverage with our freestanding units. We also have our CAW system. You can build it into the walls, get it out of the way. You don't have a lot of refrigerator style boxes sitting around, we get it. So 160 square feet, half of that, 80 to 100. And that's the reason our units are 60 inches high because when we started, they were always going in eight foot ceilings. So I wanted one unit that satisfied that 50 to 65% surface area coverage that would be freestanding. Each unit's 12 square feet, about a half, 1.5 dB attenuation, 30 to 300. They're powerful. They're 230 pounds. They better be powerful. They're on wheels. Don't worry. Not difficult to move around. With that four-wall approach and then some floor-to-ceiling treatment with a platform or CAW system or the CPA, then you can get that 70 to 80% resolution, which is good for pro mix and stuff like that. But the mastering guys, they want that 90%. The mix engineers, you know, 80-20 is good for them. They'll work around 20% of the issues because they're predictable and consistent and they know where they're at and they know how to work around them. A good mix engineer can create a good mix almost in any environment because he understands the pros and the cons. The mastering guys, they only want to work around 10% room acoustic issues, especially in the low frequency area. So how do we do that? Well, we use our modules. It's all about surface area. So you just stack the modules on top of the units. They're two foot. So now you're at seven feet on an eight foot ceiling height. So you're pretty close to, you know, 100%, but that's what it is. It's all about surface area coverage, rate and level of absorption. You have a specific rate and level of absorption. You have a particular frequency and amplitude of issue. You have a particular pressure range that you play in that can all be calculated and designed for. So we can get the higher resolutions you got to be willing to give up a couple things 50 to 65 percent surface area coverage and 12 inches because that's the depth of the carbon panel if you want to go down into 30 cycles the carbon panel goes to 40 if you want to go to 30 that's the acda 10 12 series that's 16. so you're going to give up three feet on all dimensions you got to have a big enough room that you can afford to do that Carbon panel goes to 40. You may not need to go that low, depending on your room and usage. That takes 12. So it's 12 minimum to get relief from this less than 100 cycle modal uh, issues that you have in your room. So ACDA 12 modules, the, the carbon panel, the CPA is our uh, foam technology. It, it goes to 65. It's not a, a powerful unit. But it will manage that floor to ceiling issue for you because it's not quite as strong as the other issues are in the room. So how much low frequency absorption do you need? This gives you some idea. I hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. 
We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.